Hello again. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is create a simple grappling hook. Um, it's, it's really, really simple and very straightforward. So if you've watched my other videos, you've seen me set up players and things like that. So I've gone ahead and set up the player. Um, the only difference this time is that I've got a box collider and a line renderer on it. Um, and this is what we're going to use. We're going to use a line renderer for our hook line. Um, so the first thing we want to take a look at is I've got the script here. I've got an entity hook point and an, and an entity hook fired. Those are going to be sync vars that will be set on the server. So every other player can see when a hook has been fired. That way all the other players are going to be synced up and you will see everybody that has a hook out will, will be shown. So let's get started on this. Um, what I want to do is I want to start by, I need to send a mouse position to the server. So we're going to do on mouse, oops, we're going to do on mouse input is owner. I want to make sure that only my character is sending the data to the server. I want to get mouse position. And we've done this before too. So we're going to do screen to world point. We're going to do main camera. Okay. And on my version of my scripts, I am dealing in vector two, but you can change those. Um, I am going to round this because I am dealing in vectors twos. Uh, you wouldn't have to round it if you were in three. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a CMD master. Um, I'm going to send my hook fired. So we're going to do a null and null, 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 null. And if you watch my other videos, I explain how all this works and how the RPC script works. Um, so make sure you go back and take a look at the, the very first video, preferably, because that one has all the information you need. So I'm going to create a list with one item in it, not, not zero, we want one, okay? All right, so now when every single time I click, it's going to, to click the position of where I clicked on the screen, okay? So using that position, what I'm gonna do is on the server, I am going to get the direction and then fire a ray cast because you want everything done on the server. So I have hook fired. So I'm going to do a custom event. Oops, I didn't mean to put the caps lock on here. Go away. Okay. We're going to do eight. And this is one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get first, uh, nope, I'm going to get item. So because I use lists and arrays for everything, I just get the first item because that's the one I need. Okay, I'm going to do is server. Are you the server, yes or no? Because this is the command has sent back to the server. The server is now going to, uh, we're going to raycast and find out exactly what we hit, if we hit anything at all, and then return the results to all the other players. So we're going to uh, raycast. Yeah, raycast. And then we're going to go from here the layer mask is going to be wall because I've already set this up to have a layer mask on it as a wall. Uh, it's just three different tile maps. Um, so in my direction, what I want to do is I want to get my position. Okay. And then I want to subtract this position from this position to get direction. Okay, and then we're going to use my current position as the origin. Um, so, and then I want to set this to maybe a, a 10. Um, you can set it to whatever you'd like. Um, that's going to adjust the length of the ray to determine. So if I'm, if I'm over here and I click here, it's not going to do anything. Um, so we're going to do a get collider. I want to do a null check. Because we're going to find out are you null or not. Okay. So, because if we don't hit something, we don't want to turn anything on. Um, so, next we're going to, let's see, we need to get the contact point. So, we're going to do get point. Okay. So, if you're not null, 
I want to set hook point. Okay, and this is going to be this point because this is the point that I clicked. And if I actually hit something on the wall, I want to set this point. Okay, and then I want to also set hook fired to true because now on the server, I've hit something, I've set a position, and I'm going to fire that hook on all the players. All right, so it's that simple. So we're sending from our client, our position that we clicked. We're going to come in here and we're going to, uh, we're gonna set the hit position. And then, and then we're gonna make sure that it's set to the, uh, that has it been fired, yes or no. So it's important that the server manages all this kind of stuff because if, if a player is allowed to set their own positions and they're doing all the ray casting, now of course you can do a ray cast here to verify that you're going to hit something before you send it, but it really it doesn't really make a difference. Um, it, it's the internet's so fast now you can't really see. You know, I guess maybe in a super super fast paced game it might matter, but. You know, you could raycast beforehand to send it. It's it's just a vector, and it's not going to hurt anything if you do. So what we're going to do now is I've got all the data that I need on every player on every client. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an update, and then I want to come in here, and I want to say I have a line renderer. So I am going to take the positions of the hook fired and the hook point. And so I want to get hook fired hook fired okay so if this is true and false right so we have two things happening here i have it's either on or off so if it's if the hook has been fired and it's false i want to go ahead and set that line renderer inactive we're going to set enable false okay so that's the first thing now we're going to do uh, we're going to do the hook point, okay, and we're going to take our position, and then we're going to we're going to go ahead and set the line renderer's point. So we're going to line renderer, we're going to set positions, set somewhere down here. Oh, let me do P. There we go. And we're going to line positions. So I'm going to create a list because I need two points. I need a beginning and ending, All right? So if this is true, we're going to come in here. We're going to create two points. So we have our start point, which is index zero, our end point, which is the next point. Okay. So if I save this and then I go ahead and run it, when I click, it should go ahead and draw the line renderer. So let's take a look what happens here. So we'll click on this. Uh, whoop, what are we doing here? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Line renderer. Is my line renderer not on? Okay, I set it inactive. There we go. So you see it doesn't go outside the bounds because as soon as it hits, it's going to send back that point. So now we need to come up here and that we need to make sure we set enable because that there. So now we've set our positions. We've got that happening, okay? So what we need to do now is we need to move towards it. So we're going to add force to our object. Uh, let's see, we can just add force. And then I want to go in the general direction of this object. So we're going to subtract this from this. And we're gonna to add to this. And we're gonna to go to this. Okay, you see we're already swinging a little bit here, but gravity is overwhelming us. So we're going to have to multiply this a little bit. And let's take this out by a float. Uh, let's do 1.5 maybe. And then pop that up here. Let's see what happens. Okay, we still don't quite get there. Let's go to two. Uh, three is too fast. All right, so let's do two. Okay, and now what we want to do is make sure that this is running on all the clients and the server at the same time, okay? So what we're gonna wanna do is if we get close to the ceiling, actually probably take that to three, that way you get all the way up to the ceiling. 
There we go. All right. So what we're going to do is if we click around, you see we, we can swing and do this and that. Um, I want to make it so it turns itself off. So if I do a distance vector 2, if I do the distance between these two, and this is less or equal to then, I don't know, 1.5, and if this is true, what I want to do is I want to is server, right, because we're going to do this on the server, it's going to be an if statement. So actually, let's just do it this way. Let's take this end of this order so we're not running a distance calculation continuously on all the clients. So we can run this, and then we're going to say up here, we want to set our hook fired. So if we're true, we're going to take this and this, just like that. So now we can swing up, just like that. So we can do that. All right, so everything works. And probably take it to one. A little too close. There we go. All right, so let's save this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the client side. We're going to open up a parallel sync. And I went over that in the very first video too. So make sure you check that one out because it gets you started on all this stuff. Um, it, the networking stuff is pretty pretty rough at first, but once you start getting into it and understand how it all works, it's it's really qu quite powerful. Um, it's really quite fun too. So make sure you take a look at the other videos and I think you'll enjoy them. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this and then we're going to run this and we have the same because Parallel Sync is just a clone of the project and I'm going to come in here for the server and I fling myself up in the air. Okay, just like that, you see on both server and client, and, and it will apply to every client because every client is running the same type of deal. So they all see the same thing. Okay, all the physics are the same, everything's the same. It's, it's identical. So that's all there is to this. Um, it's very simple. It's pretty cool looking, um, real simple grappling hook. Um, you know, that's about it. So have a good one, guys, and make sure you check out the rest of the videos. Thanks.